Alright. Do you use that light to find that imaginary dick you supposedly have? No. I use the light to find your fucking again my mom said if I don't have nothing nice to say don't say nothing at all and I almost broke that I almost broke that mm, it took everything I had not to say it oh Jamal it did it did what was the last racist thought you had I'm a black woman. You ask them, you seriously ask me that question? Oh my goodness. That's a good, that's a good question. I would say I don't really have racist thoughts. No Cat. racist thoughts in here. Why Cat. can't white people rap? I slanted my eye. <laughs> he said, what did he say? Why can't white people rap? It's because an Asian kid out all the answers in class. It's the people, certain people that I don't trust. Do you trust the government? No. No. Not really. I trust them when it came down to give me PUA. I trust this government more than anybody else, though. Government means mind control. Why well, don't? Because of what the government has done to my people for the last thousand years. Thousand years? I thought it was like 400. 400, but I'm. I'm, I'm... Do you think the Illuminati is real? I'm so confused on that topic. They are, yeah, they, they do exist. I don't, I haven't done any research in that area. Flat Earth, astrology, uh, Flat Earth, MK Ultra, yep. Astrology. Interesting. What makes you think the Earth is flat? Think? No, I don't think. What makes you think that you're living on a spinning ball of globe? <laughs> he got a point. I mean, shit, none of us been up there. No cap. I would Ask say Jeff I don't Bezos, really have racist thoughts. I can't backtrack on when's the last time I had a racist thought because I'm just not that type of person, you know? But, uh. Not even in traffic? Nah. <laughs> I mean, and if, if, if racist is being uh, sometimes hating the human race, then yes, I'll be like, you know, fucking humans. Like, come on, like, why can't you get it together? Fucking human. Exactly. I, mean, I don't believe you at all, yo. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I really don't yeah. have racist thoughts. That's, that's just. I went to Jamal, where are you? Well, the power went out, and the only time she got to see you was that she's alive. Well, am I supposed to feel bad for you, Jamal? I mean, I. I, I I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. What, what the fuck? What the fuck do you want me to say to that? Am I supposed to feel bad? Because I don't. Ha ha ha! She's gonna see your eyes. It's the honest truth. You wouldn't join the Illuminati. <sighs> see. I'm a black woman. You ask them, you seriously ask me that question? Well, you're wearing a mask, so it looks like you trust the government a little bit. See, I'm a black woman. Do I trust the government? Yeah, do you trust the government? No. You as an Asian American, do you trust the government? No, I don't. Okay. So I don't think anybody should. We're one and the same. I honestly never had the thought uh, of Sneeko being Asian. So when she said that, I was like, huh? Oh, so Sneeko's Asian? What the fuck? That's the number one problem. The divisiveness of America. It, it don't make no sense. The Asians are over here. The blacks are over here. It don't make no sense. We all bleed the same color. Facts. We need to be fighting these people, the elite. That's how, how do we do that? You know? I don't know. We, a lot of us are pretty stupid. I, I mean, I, 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 I could tell you how to do it, but you be in jail fucking with me. <laughs> everybody experiences racism, and I think everybody is a little bit racist. Yes. Because we're brought, like, bro, like, do you expect a... a uh, a five-year-old to be, even if it's like the greatest five-year-old you've ever met, do you expect that five-year-old to be less racist than a newborn baby? No, because a newborn baby's on like a clean slate. Like, yo, that guy's wearing a New York University hoodie and I'm wearing a New York University shirt. I kind of trust that guy, right? Like there's, just from like life experience, you can definitely- He could be a serial killer and we have no idea. He could be, yeah. And that's why racism isn't right. What was the last racist thought you had? <laughs> don't lie, don't lie. If you say it, I'll say it. No racist thoughts in here. <laughs> no. You're clean, you're innocent, I'm, I'm, you're perfect. Cat. I'm not perfect. Who Cat. gets blamed for being racist? Obviously, white people. White people? Yeah. It's just, just in your blood. I feel like if you're white, in a sense, it's just in your, it's in you. What? I think, I think everybody has that. I don't think that white people are, are any more racist than me or you. I think it all comes from the same place. Yeah. yeah. You agree with that? I could agree with that. 
because of my thoughts. You tell me one. Tell me one thought. No, no, no. Maybe something about like a like an Asian person's eyes or something like that. What was it about the Asian person's eyes? I was like, I think it was in class one time, and I was like, he has all the answers. And I slanted my eyes. It was a while ago. That's what I'm. Said what? I slanted my eyes because an Asian kid had all the answers in class, so I was like, just pointed at him. So you did that? Oh, okay. I've had that happen to me. I'm in school. <laughs> okay, so you, you have the capability to be racist. Yeah, but I'm not. What? Based on that, you are. Yeah. What the fuck? I guess. Like you're probably gonna, not going to do that. Like, what, what, you're half black something? I'm Dominican and black. You're probably not going to be making racist jokes to Dominican and black people. Yeah. Maybe Dominican people, but like not anybody black can people. get it. To be you honest, say the sure. Dominican people. I don't know. Something about the way they speak. Gang, 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 gang. That's the vibe. You think everybody's racist? Yes, hundred percent, for sure. I like you. <laughs> like you too, brother. <laughs> you think it all come? Why? Explain that a little bit. Well, it's just like it's just like ingrained in our in our culture and our system. You know, I'm Latin, and like even Latin people are like even more so. You know, more prejudiced and shit. You know, you see it from all angles. No, no, I. I I'm not racist, no. Cap. Okay, I see what you mean. I guess I can be racist. Like, anybody can be racist, but is that, like, a mindset that I have? Like, no, you know. No, bro. People hear the word racist, and then they get all, like, oh, my gosh, no, of course I'm not racist. Oh, my God, no, BLM, ALM, oh, my God. Like, shut the fuck up, bro, because you have had those thoughts in your head. Whether, okay, BLM, that's racist. Because you're gonna think that white people are like uh, like against black people. Like, when it's always black and white. Like, bro, it's bigger than that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's bigger than black and white, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just by you saying BLM, that is racist. Because you're now, like, saying white people are, like, you're painting white people in negative light. Like, that's what most BLM, I'm not saying all, but like most BLM, you know what I'm saying? Is like that where they, they'll put black people on this pedestal and then, like, basically lower the white person type shit. And, like, in reality, bro, we're all humans. We're, none of us are shit. We're not shit, bro. We are all human, bro. We are not shit because humans are fucking dog shit. I don't think I really have racist thoughts. Why did you say, hmm? I think, like, something that I've learned is just that everyone has implicit biases, um, and it's, like, our job to always uncover that because... Like, no matter what, like, I think everyone is somewhat racist just because of your upbringing. Unless you're anti, like, actively anti-racist, you are, to some extent, maybe, in, like, in If you're anti-racist, that means you're still racist. Like, low-key. You know what I'm saying? Like, low-key, that still means that you're kind of racist, baby. Implicitly, internally racist, and you have to, like, work on that yourself. Yes. Even people who are really, like, outwardly anti-racist, I still think that they're... They're racist. Part of the problem, too. I mean, they like, are. it's just mo 100%. mostly for show and to feel good and post something on social media. Everybody's been racist. Like, if you if you look me in your eye and say that you've never been racist before in your life, you know you're lying to yourself. The government, as far as the government's concerned, you see our president, all these black people that voted him in, I hope they know that that's the same president that was sending their uncles and their nephews and their brothers and their fathers to jail for minor weed offenses. Kamala Harris talking about? My, listen, just because. Yo, chill, Jamal. Chill on grandma, bro. Chill on grams. Chill out on grams, bro. Chill. They're my color. Chill. Don't mean that I trust them. Facts. Big facts. I don't. Big so what facts. What extent should we trust power? I like don't that. we need to trust people in power a little bit to have society function? As you see, the elite is what's winning. The elite is what is what's stepping all over the little person. That's they need to win to stay the for them to be elite. They need to. Yeah. I mean, that's the way of the world. But it is what it is. It is what it is. At what level should we trust the government? This little booklet right here. I suggest you get this. It's called the Unanimous Redeclaration of We the People, Affidavit of Status. It's got a bunch of codes. So what's your full name? Okay, well, either way. <laughs> Basically, you don't trust them at all. There's, there's zero level of trust. I'm not saying. This nigga said, what is your full name? 
Who just hands out someone your full name and took some random ass nigga in the fucking subway? No, weirdo. Why did two Asian parents have an Asian baby? Because two Wongs can't. Don't make a white. <laughs> Bro, are you Googling these fucking jokes? Yeah, there's you zero geek? level of trust. I'm just saying that they've been taking advantage of us, and we are supposed to be the government. We're supposed to be the government. We're supposed to be self governing, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And they basically control us on all fronts. They want to microchip humanity, they want to digitize humanity by 2030. Yeah. That's not even a conspiracy, that's just true. That's true. If you go to the airport, you walk into the plane, they have like the HSBC bank signs and they're saying like, we're going to barcode you. Yeah, yeah, barcode you. It's supposed to be like a cool, quirky thing, but like literally a barcode. People, uh... I mean, you have to show our papers now, like Nazi Germany, like literally yeah. going into a place showing yeah. papers. That's some... Show this paper, put your photo there, even drop some of your blood on there if you want to. Sounds crazy, I know. I don't look yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little much. <laughs> well, listen, man. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Uh, no. You don't think they exist? I think some form of it. I have this post. I had the same polo sweater, but like, I honestly don't know where my shit at. Yeah, I really don't know where my shit at. I don't know a lot. I would wear it on stream, but I literally do not know where it's at. And that's the only, I swear to God, that's the only fucking polo thing I own, bro. I used to, bro, niggas used to, bro, I used to wear polo like that shit was designer back in like school, bro. Like, not middle school, because in middle school we had a uh, uniform. But in like, ele like late elementary school, early high school, really all through high school. But then like by the end of high school, niggas was wearing like Babe and Velo and shit. But like, bro, pff, what? Polo used to be fucking designer back in the day. Oh, God. Niggas used to pay $65 for one fucking collar t-shirt. Bro, that shit ain't make no damn sense. Yes, but not the Illuminati form. Maybe not that term, but maybe there's a group of rich people who touch kids around the world and have secret meetings with masks and they control the banking system. Yeah, I think some of that. Some, something like that, something like that. Some version of that okay. out there could Maybe Illuminati is not the best term, but that is pretty much, right? Some sort of rich people that, that sit around and touch kids and make plans, you know? Have like nice masks and mansion parties and everything. Squid games, bro, squid games. <laughs> Would you go if you were invited? An Illuminati party? Right, they're just gonna touch me and make plans, you know? You know would you join as like one of the, the guys, you know? For sure. You joining? Yeah. I think I'm joining too. That, that's the fucked up part. Dark side, man. Money and power, man, that's what it is. To be honest, I, at the state that I'm currently in, bro, I'd probably join the Illuminati. But, like, I would join, if I'm joining some shit like that, though, I'm reading all of the terms and conditions. I don't give a fuck if that bitch 69 pages, 120.5, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I am reading that shit, bro. Because I have to figure out exactly, like, what the fuck is going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see, like, when can I live my normal life? And just reap the benefits, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, 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 I'm, I'm a sneaky ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? I, I find loopholes in everything, you feel me? I find loopholes in everything. Nigga. You have to say, I can't do everything. You have to put that bitch in bold, italicized font, nigga. Oh, God. Never forget my granddad lives or anything before he died. Are you still holding the ladder? <laughs> Shut up, nigga. You fucking geek. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. But nah, I'm doing the Illuminati. 100%. I, I'm just reading the terms and conditions. I never said I wasn't going to sign if they didn't say what I want. I'm just reading it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just reading it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm reading the terms and conditions for the Illuminati. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to fucking join. It does. Anyways, it, it does. Might be one matter. of those guys at Squid Game sitting at the top with the mask on. That's like, what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. Squid Game. I want to be Exactly. exactly. Uh, but in general, I think like our government is pretty well intending. What? The American government is well intended. No, no, no. Yeah, what you just said. Yeah, I did say. That's exactly what you just said. Goddamn, I'm, I'm uh, I watch these videos and I know that the people that like fuck up their words and shit. The full one hour version of the One Minute Podcast is always available on Patreon. They got it like three days ago. I post secret videos in there. I have my podcast on there. And if you want to learn how to make videos once a month, I do a stream where I review Tier Three's videos, make fun of them a little bit, but it's fun, and you'll learn something. To get access to all the videos, just four bucks a month. Most people like Patreon. They mostly stay. So. I'm just, it's just, it's overall been a good reception. Been a good reception. Quality.clothing. 
Let's go to that website, chat.